Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to fire up your sub pack and show you some tips on how you can optimize your sub pack experience. There's your brand new sub pack M2X. We'll just put this over to the side for now. Then you'll see a plastic insert. You're gonna wanna take this out and that's where you're gonna find your accessories box. Let's have a look at what's inside the accessories box. This is where you're gonna find your sub pack charger, your four international sub pack charger cables. So no matter where you are, you'll be able to charge your sub pack, your 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable, a pair of waist straps, and your user manual, warranty info, and quick start guide. Attached to the unit, you'll see the control box. This is where all the features are. We have our power on button, a battery light indicator. This also doubles as a volume meter, which we'll get to later. The Bluetooth light, the intensity knob, your line in, which is where you connect the sub pack to the source, and your headphones out, which is where you're gonna connect your headphones. Now that we know what's in the box, let's make sure our sub pack is fully charged before we fire it up. So first I'm gonna power on the unit and I see a red light. This means my sub pack needs a charge. Grab the AC adapter and plug it directly into the back of the control box. And now my light's blue. This means my sub pack is charging. To be certain your sub pack is done charging, grab the control box, power on the unit, and a full charge will be indicated by a blend of all the LED lights. It kind of looks like a white light. There's two ways to connect the sub pack. You can use a cable or you can use Bluetooth. But first let's connect the headphones. You're gonna take your headphone cable and plug it into the headphone jack found on the control box. First let's hook up the sub pack using a cable. You're gonna take the line in cable, which you're gonna find in your accessories box. One end goes into the line in input on the control box and the other end goes directly into your phone, computer, or whatever device you're playing music off of. Now let's connect the sub pack to Bluetooth. From an off state, hold the power button down for about four seconds. You'll see it flicker and a sub pack will be in pairing mode. Go into settings on your media device, connections, Bluetooth. It may take a few minutes to come up and once it does, click sub pack M2X. It'll start pairing. Now it's paired and you're ready to rock out. Now that the sub pack is connected, I wanna teach you guys how to properly set your volume and your intensity to avoid clipping your unit. You wanna start with your intensity knob being at 0% and then go ahead and play some music. Put on your headphones and slowly turn them up until your headphones are at a comfortable volume. That's nice about there. Then on the intensity knob, you can slowly turn it up until you start feeling the bass throughout your body. If you go too far, you'll notice that the LED starts flickering red. That is a distortion warning, and if you use your product while it's distorting, it could cause damage. So slowly dial it back until it's a solid green, and that's how you're gonna make sure your sub pack lasts a long time. At the back of the control box, there's a little clip just slide that into the back of the sub pack and we're ready to put it on. It goes on just like a knapsack. Now what's really important is once you have it on, you're gonna to wanna to do up the straps. The tighter the sub pack is to your body, the better experience you're gonna have. You have two under your arms. There's little thumb holes on the straps and you're just gonna to wanna to pull down on those. The next thing you wanna do is do up the chest strap. You can adjust it to however tight you need it and then it clips on just like a magnet. We do also have waist straps. I recommend using these because it pulls the sub pack closer to the lower part of your back. These are optional, but we'll show you how to put these on just in case you wanna use them. The waist strap clips are at the bottom of the pack as well, and you just slide the hook right into the sub pack and the waist straps are ready to go. Now you're ready to clip and tighten. So now that I've got my sub pack on tight, 
I've set my volume on my phone and I've set the intensity knob on my sub pack to make sure that I'm not gonna clip it. I'm gonna put my headphones on, hit play and rock out. After using your sub pack, maybe you've done a workout or gone on a bike ride. If you feel like you need to clean your sub pack, what we recommend is using a sports equipment spray. Spray it on and give it a wipe. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this video showed you everything you need to know about using your new sub pack. If you need any more help, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest and greatest on sub pack news. Thanks again for buying our product. We're happy you joined us on our mission to help the world feel sound.